be ready up there. Okay. They won't give us a warning, but just don't don't be too loose on it. Okay. It'll be a very sudden, like, and we'll both freak out with it. So. There you go. Now you're good to go. So this is our first room together, and you see no one there anyway. So y'all found me on YouTube? Yes, uh, I don't know. Uh, my wife just started looking for somebody that dealt with aggressive cancer. Okay. But you said this morning, you said if, if you do what you're going to do on YouTube, then... Yeah, I, 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 she, she, she queued it up for me this morning. So okay. To so kind of give you an idea? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've been having him sedated? Uh, the last two times we had him dreamed, or three times. And, uh, you know, it just, it screwed him up. It screwed me up. Okay. You know, I what, mean, what does that mean? It screwed. Well, I mean, he was just so lethargic for two days and all that. And, uh, uh, he was just very conscious when I picked him up. Uh -huh. And so all that night, you know, he was just, you know, he was just lost he didn't know what to do that no. first night out of surgery yeah, yeah, okay yeah but it wasn't surgery of course it was right, just, just being grooming. sedated you mm -hmm. know oh just sedate. right, right you know for it could be green right and right. uh and all that and uh so as a result of that you know we just uh i mean uh, they made the decision for us in one way they said if they were no longer going to bread which i don't really? know really they said they wouldn't groom anymore uh, even well, sedated they said they weren't going to be grooming anymore. So okay. I don't know if that was an excuse to get us. Well, they lost a groomer uh, here recently. Okay. Which, which company? It was a. Uh, the Rich, corner. Uh, Richmond. Uh, that one there on 26 in uh, Blue Snow. Uh, there, uh, there's family. A family a pet clinic? Uh huh. I, I want to say they recently lost a groomer. Well, they may have been. It may have been the girl that was, yeah. that, that was doing it. And I and I don't believe that they're gonna and I could be wrong, but I believe I talked to their their technician and I think they said they're not even bringing a groomer back. Home. Okay, right. it's just been too crazy. Okay. If I if I remember, if it's the same okay. company, okay. so that may have been true. Okay. Well, anyway, it, it you know uh, it, it didn't matter because we we were just trying to figure out something to do so that we did not have to sedate him. Three times. So that, how often were you getting a groom? Was that three times in one year, or three times in about a year and a half? Oh, well, I don't know. You don't know. Uh, at, at least six. Hold weeks. tight, okay? okay. At least six weeks to two months. Hold uh, tight. Be okay. ready. I'm gonna get okay. in there. Hang on, buddy. I'm just gonna. Stand I'm up. not doing anything. Good I'm just gonna get him to Good stand boy. up for me. Good boy. Now, what might end up happening is that he may not like his legs and feet okay. because he's doing all well, right yeah uh, he he's doing is, all right with some other stuff about his feet, okay so. and yeah. a lot of times they are because okay. something something uh -huh. happened uh -huh. already okay but uh anyway so we were trying to find you well that is awesome i'm glad that i'm able to kind of help you guys out here i'm kind of asking that question so youtube and people that are watching right. can understand why you would call me right. 
and why you would not go get a sedated groom because you already been there. Right. And uh, is there a time you thought he, we might not have him back? Well, no, not necessarily. Okay. Uh, but it's just the knowledge that that's true. I mean, I've heard of people dying from being sedated for uh, our teeth cleaning or, or right, or teeth not teeth, coming back. Tooth removal, exactly. You know, and uh, and you're doing uh, sedated a lot. And he's yeah. he's gonna have to get groomed a lot, you yeah, know. Right, that's the whole, you know, that's that's the thing about uh, get a short haired pup. Get a short haircut, <laughs> and that way you don't have to do it every right. month, okay? Right. Uh, in this situation right. with sedating and that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. I mean, I've had talkers for years, and for years I've I've clicked on myself, but okay. I'm not him. No, no, he wouldn't let you. Or what, what, is, what has happened when you try to clip them yourself? Well, uh, I just never did cry because we found out no matter what we did, uh, they were, uh, just out of the blue, sometimes he would become aggressive. Right. So, you just snap? Uh, yeah, you know. And, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, anyhow, so he did it. Get me and his mom a couple of times. Okay. Just, wow. And is, one, is that during group? Just random, right? No, just random. Random. And one time at the vet's office because they had a cat doctor. Trying to take his temperature, and it took us so long that he finally I saw be ready. What was happening? And I stuck my hand in. Uh huh. And uh, I try to my, help out. I took the mic. Right, know, so right. They didn't have to, but uh, you know, I just uh, was that all his life. It had, yes, and, wow. and 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 we we had him since he was like eight weeks old, and uh, never never any abuse or or, or never anything traumatic that we know Hold of. up here, you know. Uh, so, right. So uh, I don't know if it, what it, if there is such a thing as that just being in nature or not, but uh, no matter what we've done, it hadn't seemed to help. So. Right. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Good job. He's kind of just who he is. Good job. I guess so. Mm -hmm. You know, but he can be an angel most of the time, and then every once in a while, that devil comes out. You all hear that? <laughs> it's a cocker spaniel. Years. They've had Cocker Spaniels for over 20 yeah. years. And this is the only one that snaps and does all that. Yeah. Yeah. Coming in, be ready here. Okay. Y'all okay. okay. have seen me do the legs and feet, and sometimes, okay. man, they come down like feet. It's just like boom, something they just snap. So he just said the last time he picked up his dog, his dog bit him because he was trying to help him. He, and the dog was so was what, sedated? Yeah, or he, was loopy? he was still so loopy. He couldn't get in the truck, and I was trying to. I put my hands on his butt to lift him up, and he grabbed. He just bit you. Mm -mm. Now, when you say he bit you, does he break skin? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's not a little warning. Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, he, he, he stops immediately, and he seems to be fine. But the, it you know, still damage happened. is done. You know? it, yeah, it still happened. This is the kind of deal where if it happens to somebody else, a senior good body. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You know they will. Yeah. They, no, and they and will. it's not even a choice. Yeah. You get yeah. a dog bite, yeah. you go in for yeah. a tetanus shot, or something yeah. like that. They're already at your yeah. door. Yeah. His mom. Uh, uh, last time he bit her, she was kind of concerned about that part uh, of it. Uh, about the healing up. Uh -huh. You know, a uh, uh, place wasn't looking just right. Okay. And she went to. Uh, 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 she didn't go right away. He just wanted healing. Right. 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 Okay. Emergency care or whatever. Right. Right. And they told her. They said, you know, said, well, we're going to have to report this. And she said they'll keep a record and you know keep one, on happening, yeah, something might happen. Yeah, one more mm -hmm. time, then they'll come one more get, time getting and putting down. You know, so. Did y'all hear that? And that's in Texas, so every yeah. law is different in yeah. each state, but yeah. um, and that's their own owner. So you know how I get the owner involved because they're the ones willing to tolerate some of these biting, but two times and they will put your dog down. Two times your dog bite. And it has to be reported for medical or whatever. They're going to put your dog down. He just said it, so because that's what they told him at the for his wife. His wife got bit. Yeah, well, I'll be lucky. Right, for, running the street or yeah, anything like uh, anybody else yeah, getting hurt. Yeah. It could be a child, that type of thing. You don't think your dog will run the street, but sometimes I'll tell you what, don't get out. Somebody open the door. Yeah. The gate open. And if you have service people, be sure and check the gates because they're notorious for hitting gates open. Right. No. Right. No, exactly. Yeah. Or a stranger. Yeah. You don't have a lock on it. Right. 
So dad said he's never seen the grooming, so he don't know he won't know on what to expect. We're doing pretty good here, and I think because he's here, that probably is helping a bit here. Something happened at that point? Or? Uh, no, but we thought that might help it. Right. You know, oh, okay. You know, we tried I mean, to help them um, get well, neutered I mean, to calm, calm them down. They, they, they said it'll preserve their yep. life, too. And so, you know, uh, but we took all that into consideration when we did it. Right. And, you know, Didn't and help. <laughs> you know, okay. So, you know, we're going to get to that point. Would you trust him with a child? Uh, well, I mean, well, I have grandkids, but, but uh, I'm uh, uh, on on edge of my seat the whole right. time, you know, right. and if I see them, uh, you come do so well, well, when they were young, you know, I had her, uh, uh, I, I'd put him up, but right. uh, as they got older, you know, uh, I've explained to them and all that, but I watch them in that way, if they, it looks like they're trying to get aggressive or something. Uh, you try to I, react? I, yeah, if, if they're trying to get too wild, rambunctious wild, and stuff. I'll step in and either, right. either put him up or whatever, but that's a drag to have to put the dog Right, up, you know, right. But, it is it's better than it safe is. than sorry. Absolutely. Absolutely. She'll see you on YouTube now. Did you tell the wife right now she could be watching? <laughs> We're no, live right I, now. No, I didn't tell her. <laughs> She'll be able to watch it later today. No, you're good. You're doing great. Both y'all doing great. Good job, son. Good job. 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 Good as much as we've got done, I mean, we haven't done some tough parts, but it's, I wish I'd have known you a little sooner, because he would have had a lot of non-sedated grooming with just this. Right, right. Even if we haven't even done the feet yet, and just say, right. hey, we'll skip the feet, at least right. he would have been a lot, you know what I mean? Right, I do. Look at this. Doing pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. And I think you being here probably is helping. Well, I hope. Only, only way to know is next. I, I, we'll I see how he goes, goes all the way, but I want you safe and I want him safe. So. Okay. Set off the table. Okay. Yeah, I'm going up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This will be interesting. We're gonna start getting into the feet now. Okay. Good. He's doing real good. You guys hear everything Dad has been saying? All that. He, how many times they've been bitten? Everything. You guys hearing all this? It does make you think, man. He didn't come here for no reason, right? Right. But he, if, if right. he was, he'd have gone to a regular groomer, right. you know, just any right. old groomer. And how long did it take to maybe um, find someone that could help you? Well, how, when did the search you, start? Uh, at first, at first, we were relieved that we could get him done anyway, anyway, okay. anyhow. And, and here, you mean no, here? no, uh, with with the sedation. Oh, no, okay. I mean, okay. I mean that was that, it was like, it, it was a that. means to an end. Right. But then after dealing with him two to two or three times, having been sedated, you know, we realized that that is not the best option. And plus being concerned about him not not coming home. 
right, you know, right. And, and uh, and so when she found you, she said, Honey, said she deals in aggressive pets. And I said, You've got to be kidding, you ain't a right mind to do that. You know? <laughs> And uh, <laughs> that's so, funny so, right there. So we were tickled, you know, that uh, that somebody was willing to do what it takes, to, right? Right, because at the it, end of the day, what you just said, when you said you got to do what it takes, yeah, how about if I get halfway and I'm like, well, I can't finish, that's not what it takes, right? right absolutely. You have to keep pressing yeah, to yeah. get everything done, right, right? Right, right, yeah. And uh, to be honest with you, your background probably encouraged me on that because. You know, you got to be can do to be in the military. So, mm -hmm. so that right. uh, that that, uh, that was an cool. encouragement to me, you sure. know, sure. and all that. But uh, uh, for his sake, we couldn't let him not be groomed. I mean, right. no. you wouldn't, you couldn't just go ten years and leave it alone. No, no. no. Why do people think that? I don't know. I, I have no idea. You know how bad it might be in ten years? Oh, oh, oh I can't. Mercy. It was bad enough after two or three months. Right. Baby. Plus, it's winter time, so he's putting on a winter coat anyway. You know? <laughs> right. It's okay, darling. It's okay. No, it's okay. You're okay, sweetie. Yes, sir. That's a good boy. You're being a good boy. It's all right, she's not going to put them in your steps. You know, don't hurry, but she's making them pretty. Let me see. Get ready. Okay, no, she is. Okay. Get ready. You're all right, bud. Here we go, baby. You're all okay, right, man. Good boy. Okay, let me get in there. Yeah. And they are long in here. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a couple months? Uh, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can hear you walk and it was just Really? Yeah, you know. You got slippers on. Uh, <laughs> so I knew that it had to be driving me crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's okay, man. Did I choke him? I'm no, he probably just like, mm, 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 get off my feet. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to attack him. Okay. <laughs> no. okay. Feet's the worst okay. part, usually. Yeah. yeah You're irritated in this one. Look in there. Well, see, right? I don't know if he stepped on something or what, but, but that foot, he lays and licks. Really? Yeah, yeah you can so, see why. Right. Yeah. Maybe the hair. Let's, well, let's it, pay it, attention. It, and then it, the it, nails, it, too. So. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Why but if he lays and licks at it, yeah, we're gonna do the nails. I was concerned about that too. I didn't nope, know we'll do the nails. what you'd get into. I'm gonna do it all, except okay. for maybe the ears. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not sure. We have to be careful about him. You know, uh, he gets a yeast infection in his ears. Mm -hmm. so heavy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have well, to, that's very common. I have to catch him in the right. All copper spaniels. I have to catch him in the right mood to do to put medicine in. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can hand scissor all this. I'm just going to get it all off. Okay. All right. Well. Because, I mean, yeah. the shorter the better. Absolutely. And it gets so, with Carver's name, it gets so thick. Uh -huh. <laughs> How you guys doing? Can you see what we got going on? Don't worry about me. I'm going to shuffle, kind of get okay. near you here a little okay. bit. I'm going to use you Good as a job. shelter. I got my tin here. This is basically doing poodle feet, but you can't tell they're so hairy. Still hair, but a bunch of hair there. Did you see how bushy they were? Yeah. If I don't see him in about three months, I think we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. why if we go short right. now, right. Okay. I don't need to mandate He's him okay. to come in in a month. Okay. Or okay. two months. Okay. 
Do you have solution at home that you use on his ears or supposed to use on his uh, ears yeah, regularly? Uh, we have a cleanser. Uh -huh. Okay. How often can you really get in there? Once well, a month? Or uh, what's realistic? Yeah, uh, realistic, maybe I can take you over a good move every couple of weeks. Okay. But it's uh, tough. Yeah, yeah. But the last couple of times they, they treated them, they just packed them. Okay. And, uh, you know, and all that. But How much does packing cost? I don't remember, but it, it's one of those times that they used to do when we had them groomed, the time to get out of there, it's a $200 bill. Mm -hmm. So you Today don't really they know. Groom, no, it's mm -hmm. probably $30 or $40. Okay. Or $50. And, uh, so let me say this. When you have them packed, does it ever go away? Or then a few months later, you got to have them packed well, I mean, again? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, the yeast, I mean, it, it may clear up, but if you, but you don't, you don't get back in there, it, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to, mm -hmm. it's exactly. going to come back. Okay, let me do it. So I'm doing everything so that we can get to a point where maybe I can take the muzzle off and work on the face. Okay, now we're going to check out these nails. Bear with me. I can hear him licking up there. Yeah, he's breathing <laughs> But I ran here. Good. I ran here for you? thirty minutes this morning. Did you? We came you did Mama listen? Yeah. Huh? I told Mama. I said. Well, I, I, on the list was a twenty-minute brisk walk. Well, I'm an old fart, and I can't do a brisk walk, <laughs> so I just took him out in the backyard and threw sticks and rocks. And he, and he did else. it. Oh yeah. You got him. Yeah. To, oh the, yeah. The exercise, you guys, yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah, he man. was just hassling like crazy when we got through. And, uh, I wonder, so, you know, I believe that yeah. if they do that, what I have learned is that it really does make yeah. a difference. Yeah. So I wonder if that has a lot to do with it. Maybe they're too tired to do That's that. right. Well, sometimes they're not. And then we go, what if you didn't do that work? Right. We'd even be right. in a worse right. place. Right. But look at him now. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I think you're going to feel so much better. You won't know what to do. You've almost been lethargic past few days, I think, because his coat's... There. Really? Just himself? Yeah, you can yeah. tell he's uncomfortable? Yeah, you know, he, yeah, you know, he just... Uh, he's not, not his usual self. It's okay, baby. It's okay. You're doing so good. You're going to get a special treat when we get home. You know that? What's special? Tell me, tell me uh, about yeah, this special yeah, treat. I mean, it's nothing. Tell me good. about this special treat. He just, <laughs> he, he just gets a big, a big milk bottle and he tickles. <laughs> but he only gets it at night normally. So, so he's yeah. going to get two today? Uh, yeah, is he yeah, going to get two? Get <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I can't talk to you guys right now, but throw out the questions. Maybe David can get to him too. Okay. All right. Um, let me start on this side and let's see how he's going to behave. I'm going to shave his ears, is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go to this side because of the arm. Okay, so away over there. Okay. okay. This will give me an in, inside of how he's going to get. Okay. Come down my neck here first. Okay. 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 Okay, do this. Don't 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 move the ear up. Just okay. yep. Just hold his jaw there. Okay, okay that's okay. good. Okay. okay. Can you guys see a little bit here? Let's see. Just in case, get everybody ready. He gets them in his water and then from yesterday, mm -hmm. get real mad at really? the bottom, okay. you know. So this is the, good. On the bottom edge. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. How right. are you holding up? Are you doing okay? Oh, no, I'm doing fine. We're moving pretty quick, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. I was concerned about that. I didn't know how I would if it was two hours. Exactly. No, hopefully about yeah. 50 minutes or less. Especially since he's doing so well. Oh, Might be all right. Just about 30 minutes oh, only. You smell the news. 
Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, that this will really help him cool down. Here's it so hot on the inside. Your ear shear out here, and then just do the trimming here. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Good job. So, when you would go in for the sedated grooming, how long would he be there? We'd have to have him there before 10 o'clock, and we couldn't get him until like 4 30, 5 o'clock. So, a long day and, and, for and, him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and see, I don't know how long he had. Sometimes it looked like he had, they had just. Got done or I just gotten him awake, really? You know, and and I, when I say awake, he was not alert, his just uh, eyes were open and he just was, limp, like yeah, limp, he was, limp and everything, walk, right? Walk and stagger. And, I've heard that with, with the cats that I've done, so they usually do sedated cat grooming, really? Yep, and then it takes two, three days. Yeah. before that animal yeah. comes back around and yeah. sometimes they're just like i don't one was like i think a 21 or something year old cat like it's a big deal like he, he was like i don't think she's gonna come out right. of that right we've got to find an alternative right. you know because right. the cat still needs to be groomed <laughs> as you can imagine as the older they get right okay let's see here i'm gonna come on this side now we're gonna do the exact same thing you're, you're doing good Doing good. Okay. I wonder if I'm is actually zoomed in here. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, Steve. It's okay, sir. It's okay. Okay. Everything's not on autopilot. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Yeah. What do you six uh four. Shoot, six four? Okay. At least that's what I was when I was a young man. Six four. He's looking down on all of us, including <laughs> the arm up there. He's looking down on the arm and everything. It's all in his face. <laughs> I'm going to change this out. Are you retired now, obviously? Uh, well, semi-retired. Okay. I, 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 I'm a cabinet builder. So, cabinet builder? So I work, you know. You still do it? We need some cabinets, man. <laughs> Just this morning, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get rid of all this tough weird crap I got and get a couple cabinets in here. Cool. It's getting out of hand with all this plastic tough weird crap. Oh, I understand. Right? Why don't they just put more cabinets in <laughs> Still working. Got it. Man's got to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plus, old timer told me in 1967, a whole lot more people rust out than wear out. Rust out than wear out. Yeah. And so, uh, mm -hmm. he, so he said, son. He said, just you know, stay busy doing something as long as you can. We're going to change positions after a minute here. I'm going to do the trimming on the ears again first, and then we'll come back around and let me get re really in the face okay. to see okay. if he'll let me. We don't know, but he's doing real good, so. 
if something's going to be long, I'd rather it be okay. a space than, yep. you know you got what it. I mean? And plus, it's not like matted on a common right. spaniel. Right. It's just right. long, right. hanging right. there in the right. way. Right. Okay. Not like a shih tzu, something like good that. Good You're doing so good. You're really doing good, son. Oh, okay. you. You hear this girl, man, he said, hotel. Hotel. Oh, <laughs> The way we love our doggies, man. He wouldn't man. know if I didn't talk baby talk. He wouldn't know. You can tell, say that again. He said, hold still. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute, right, you guys? He said, hold still. I'm going to have to steal that one. Hold still. You didn't even pronounce the S, I don't think. I got to practice. Hold still. Hold still. I got to practice that one. Super cute, you know, though. Okay, B. Our dog before him, we had 14 years. And so, you know, he was... Uh, He's your baby, huh? Well, yeah, you know, I mean, he's nine years old. Checking still. his neckline okay. here. Okay, it's okay, buddy. Let's see. Let's see. My hand in the way. No. Okay. My own cuff in the way here. Good job, son. Wow, we're doing great, you guys. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it, okay? All right, so. Let me clean up the table just a tad. You know, one last thing before we go to the bath, and then we'll actually, actually I'm gonna leave his muzzle. Oh, we could do that in the bath, I think. All right. You're gonna shuffle to this side, and you're so you're tall, and that's an advantage for you. You're gonna get in here and hold his neck and jaw here. Okay. And let me see what's going on. Just look around okay. on the front okay. first. Okay. Right. So you're gonna okay. shuffle your body okay. here. Okay. okay. It's okay, I'm right here. It's okay. And like I said, like you said, you know, Please, I'm right here, his face is not like a shih tzu where it's all crazy matted. Yeah. So we've so, got everything off, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. And the way he's looking at his eyeballs will come in and it's okay. Okay. It's okay. The lunge and bite can go straight through the muzzle. That could be your face, your nose. He can whip back and bite his dad because he's used to it. Whoever's right there in front of him, he might want to just take out. So okay. he can always bite through the muzzle. You need to remember that. And if you need aggressive dog okay. grooming training, please let me know. Now, okay. Give us a call. Okay. Good job. Good boy. Good, good job. Go away, David. I don't know. But as soon as you came around, right? He started growling, didn't he? <laughs> but David needs to use the bathroom, dude. <laughs> I was going to actually focus the camera. David needs to use the then don't look at us. Go around and act like just don't even look at us. Okay. Okay. Soon as he came around, man, he okay. started growling. Okay. Look at him. He's looking at him. He looks like a lion. He looks like he's gonna bite your ass. <laughs> okay. He's gonna bite you in his sleep. <laughs> okay. I'm okay with this. Just like this, are you? Yeah. I'm Looks fine. good, everything? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna leave the muzzle on. I'm gonna actually do some flushing for you of the ears. With our solution, okay. it is awesome. Okay. If I could sell you the solution and you did it once a week, you would see that whole thing okay. look great. Okay. And I'm not a veterinarian, but you'll see that whole thing look great in about okay. two weeks. But like you said, you don't stop. Right. It's a lifetime thing for Copper Spaniels right. in my opinion. Right. Okay. So come on back. Can you carry him? Or do you want me to carry him? No, no. Okay. He, he said no. Okay, so grab, hold that. Hey, hold baby. this. Come on. Hold this all together. There you go. Kind of just don't let it move on. Oh, and we're yep, yep. Good job. straight back here. Good job. Yeah. Good job, sweetie. All right, in here. In here. Click them in there. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Great. Wow, are we doing great? He's doing great, you guys. Man, I'm so glad they found me. I, I'm really, really happy about this. When you see a transition of an animal that's been sedated grooming due to biting, even even the parent says he bites me. You know, it can be a scary situation. Good job. Well, it affects how much you love it on him. You want to do? You know what I'm saying? Well, because there's no warning. Am I right? Yeah. There's no warning. Well, his last time he beat his mom. He was in the bed with her, and she was just laying there stroking him or whatever. And next thing she knows, he's, you know, she he gets, she's got his ear or something that aggravated him. And uh, mm -hmm. so, anyway. Hey, hey.
Don't look at me like that. Okay, You're all right. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Attaboy. So I put a second groom loop on him as a backup plan. Dad, you can hang out in it's here. It's okay. It's okay. That's my backup plan so he can't okay. lunge out too far. Okay. Or get out of the other one. Okay. I don't, I don't do know why he feels hands on. Because I never tried to give you one. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't bathe him at home, so he has no idea. <laughs> okay. they, they, if he, they don't bathe them at home. He does need a groomer. He does need that bath, doesn't he? Look how pretty he looks. Look how pretty he looks. Look pretty he looks. Get this a little more warmer, okay? Okay, you're all right. There's no sedation today, man. Yeah, no sedation today. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good job. Good job. That good morning. That feels good. You won't know how to act. You won't know how to act. No. No forward. Okay. Good job. Good job. Yeah, go ahead and turn around. I like that better. <laughs> I'd rather deal with the butt over here. So let me get malacetic otic. I'm going to just have you hold the tag up right there. Okay. So we'll do that at least a tick in the top. Okay. It's okay. Good job. Good okay. job, hold baby. Watch your face now. Okay. You're good. Yeah, you're good. I'm going to do this here. They're so swollen shut. You just want to get something something in there. Uh -huh, right? Uh -huh, right? See a half bit coming back out? Right. You want it to get, and if you do that, well, I would probably do it twice a day okay. like this okay. until it opens up a little right. bit. And then I would literally take a Q-tip and get all this kind of, right. get it open. As soon as right. you put it, something there, there now, it's going to just bleed because it's pretty irritated. Right. right. 
But if you want to do something like uh, we can figure out a, a fee that's fair, where you need to come in every couple of days and just let me help you. Okay. And to, and do that for a month, okay. and then you'll know how to handle okay. it. And you know what I'm okay. saying? Just a program. Right. Okay. To get this caught up. Right. And then you do this every other day, and if you right. need a muzzle, that's half the battle's gone. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm gonna do that, and then we get us out. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Thank you, my baby. Yeah, my baby. Muzzle, you put a muzzle on and then give him a treat afterwards, he'll start letting you put the muzzle on every day. Well, that, that uh, that's what I, I wasn't sure how that was going to work this morning. The muzzle? I thought, yeah, you look, I you thought, gave me a look. <laughs> yeah. I said, Dad, you're going to help me put the muzzle on. And he looked at me like, you, I am? <laughs> Good boy. Good, Good boy. boy. Yeah. You're being very yeah, good. Good You're boy. being a gentleman today. Good boy. Good job. I know. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around, oh, big body and all. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah he's becoming a two time guy. Up, up, up. Oh, feel. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. It's all right. She's just cleaning you up. No. Okay. It's, okay. it's okay. Actually, I'm gonna stop okay. there. Let's not make okay. it any worse. Okay. It's, doing okay. So good. it's okay, honey. It's all right. It's okay. Get all right, we'll put this back. collar on. And then, do you want to take him and just load him up and come back and pay? <clears throat> Uh, or do you want to help have him out here in the lobby? No, I don't want him in the lobby. Okay, uh, you want to go yeah, put him right not, in the car? Uh, I want to pay. Pay first. Okay, get that okay. out of the way. You got it. Let's do that. It's okay, sir. I'll be right back. So that way he can pay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, no, I'll be honest with you. Wait, I'm going to go around. Serious? Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't uh, you? Looking at the camera. <laughs> going on you ready to go? <laughs> Until you get in the car. Well, we can. Okay. Guess, uh, if you're worried a little bit. Yep, I got it back here. Okay. So Dad said, Dad said you can. He literally just said, "I'm a little worried about picking him up right now." He knows his pet. Okay. All right. You ready? Okay. Here we go. This is you. So I'm gonna leave the muzzle. I might have to leave some other stuff on here too. 
So we're gonna, I'm going to help Dad take the pet out to the car with the muzzle on. Dad didn't want to buy a muzzle, but we're going to take the muzzle and everything off in the car so that he doesn't get bit, okay? Okay, go ahead, grab him up. Let's go. Okay, we got all that stuff. He's going to swing here a minute. Good job. He was happy, you guys. He is happy he did not have to sedate his dog. Did you guys hear him say about the sedation? Let's see. Did you guys hear him say that about the sedation? Yeah, pretty bad. I mean, what are you supposed to do, man? What if it was like, a, I mean, there's dogs that have mad like that, that one dog, um, Hmm, what's that one dog called that looks like kind of like a mop? Starts with a K. Forget what's a cut. But um, I guess you can let your dogs get like that. I mean, what would a sh what would a Shih Tzu do if they look like that? I mean, I guess I don't know. But if nobody grooms them dogs, what are you supposed to do? There you go, Jeremy, that one, common door. I mean, you can have your dogs like that. Would a Shih Tzu kind of look like that? Or a Maltese, do you think a Maltese will get to that point where it looks like that? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's fun. I'm, te I'm telling them that uh, sedation, about sedation, that is not good. And what would you do if you don't want to sedate your dog? What would you do? What would you guys do? And, and not be able to groom them. What would they do? And then, like. You got to find somebody. Well, I'm saying, like. The, then then the, you would move on to grooming them yourself. Like those dogs, those co common door dogs. I mean, those are matted to the gill, man. And, oh, th that's the breed, though. You can't change that. Yeah, um, but I'm saying, would you have a Maltese running around like that? <laughs> or a Shih Tzu running around like that? Well, you know straight up that people have their dogs running around like that because they don't know what else to do. Or they don't mind the dog doing that. You live in the country for growing up, living in the country, and you never took a dog to a groomer. You're likely not going to grow up and be in your 40s and take the dog to the groomer. It's but, just what it is. It just depends on the situation they're in. Feel, though, like... Miserable. But it knows no other thing. So a Commodore skin is like made to... to be the Commodore skin, that's that breed. That breed has been that way. That's that breed. So they're just used to it? Or can any breed get used to it? I'm just like wondering, like, it's just crazy. It's hard to explain pain. And uh, I can't say a Commodore's dog, I can't say that he's going through pain. I don't even know how that dog carries the weight, but it is ingrained in its breed. So... The bloodline knows that. So it, it's not like it knows nothing different. So it's like you were born into something and you never knew any way out of it until one day, you know, you're 60 years old and you go, wow, I don't have to do this. I didn't need to do this. I've been thinking that this is the way of life that I should have been. And you know, nothing different unless someone either shows it to you or you see it for yourself and you witness it. And you're like, what I'm doing here is not what they're doing there. And why am I doing what I'm doing here? And they're doing what they're doing there and they're much more happy. Right. So a dog doesn't know that a dog just yeah. is, is in that lifestyle and it is what it is. Are they in pain? Yeah. Remember that one Shih Tzu with the toenail in, so, in the body? Of course he's in pain. So is if he, you have a, if you have a Maltese and you never, never take him to the groomer and you just let his hair grow out, he won't know like how it feels to not have all those mats. But if you do take him to the groomer one day, he's probably going to be acting different after that day. That you probably. Do you out. remember that? Uh, well, let me see. That's ha that's happened quite a few times where uh, 
every dog is like that. Like Rosie, that Schnauzer, Francis. those two teachers, yeah. the Schnauzer, uh, who owned Annie. I can't believe I haven't seen them. And they had me groom that Schnauzer at 7 p.m. And it was completely matted. They had just rescued it. So it wasn't like that Schnauzer went years and years and years. So they went to the animal shelter two, three hours away. I stayed, I came back out and met them here. You were here. Yeah. That dog became happy and spunky right after we cleaned that dog, shaved that dog. That dog became a happy animal. And we see that a lot. So I know it's painful. I know they're miserable. And you guys know if you have pets, like he said, last few days, he's been just really mopey, just miserable with his hair. So if you know your dog, only you can know that because you try to tell someone else, my dog is miserable. They're going to be like, how do you even know that? So it's just you and your family. You know what I mean? You know your family. You know your dog. You know what's going on around the world well, you live don't in. Don't they have things that you can talk to your dogs now? Have you bought one? <laughs> <laughs> go buy one of those. No, just just like they have the quick finder. Yeah. Go buy that and then let me know how it went. Because uh, no, every quick is different and every every body is different. And every there's things that in there that are going to be a wrong trigger to that quick finder. I've never used a quick finder, but I can tell you I have a lot of common sense. And I don't think that the quick finder is going to find every quick on every dog and not hit the vein. So you, you guys can make your own judgment on Plus that. See, I was wondering about you. I was like, shoot, I saw her on the last stream. Where'd she go? <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, dude, dude. Buffy's been on the old stream that whole time. <laughs> So we had we had bickered back and forth this morning about how he was loading it up. I was planning to do a 10 o'clock upload. I messed up, you guys. That's why I got fired and I just got back. I was like, why did you just put them on? And for, I don't like you guys waiting. Okay. So the, the you timer, put, there's, there's a YouTube stream that you can get ready. And you guys know that's me. That, so, that's what I do. So I prepare for 10 o'clock. So apparently, I guess it's, it, I thought Didi put 945. No, that was, was like, just how it, it just it did like, it itself. It was like five nine, minutes later. It was like 941 or something. I thought she put 945. So he just time, went live. By the time I went live, it was like 947. So it scheduled itself to go live instantly. So. Yeah, but this is the thing. When I schedule it to go live at 10, I still have to come back and hit live. So I think you click live. It doesn't do it automatically. What the? Uh, caught. <laughs> totally no. caught right there. No. You, I caught hey, you. Hey, no. Well, I thought. Hey, wait, hey. Wait, 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 wait. hey. Quit hey. lying. Hey. I don't like liars, hey. man. No, I thought that it, it was already going to go you, on a scheduled like, time. You're like, I'll just start it now. That's exactly what went through your head. No, because it was like 9.45, and it was like, go live, and I had picked a time already, so I figured if I go live, it's just going to wait till 9.45. That's what I thought. That's not what you just but said. It was you already nine, but live. it was already 9.47 when I clicked that. So that's why it went, it went straight live. So that's what happened. So that's why... I got laid off. All right, we're gonna start a new stream so that those parents stream? can go, and this will be a separate groom. That will be a separate groom that Copper Spaniel is grooming. So we're gonna start a new stream. If you all want to come back, are you sure? Uh, you yes, I'm done now. Stream. Now we need to start it. Change up quickly. Oh, is it gonna be a big move, please? Okay, we have a lot to do. I got a lot going on. So we're going to start a new stream. Thanks a lot for watching today. This was a Cocker Spaniel mean groom. If you are hating on me because it didn't act mean, I think that you have to go somewhere else because what happened was you need to listen to everything the own pet owner said. He literally said the dog has bit him over and over. He literally said the dog has bit the wife to where the wife's dog bite didn't. It started not. It started getting infected. And then she went, so she didn't immediately, because we all know if our dog or a dog bites, what's going to happen? Like you're going to, you're going to, um, you get bit by a dog. I promise you, you kind of know that something might have to happen to your dog. So what happens is we don't want to go say anything. We want to keep it to ourselves and we don't want to tell anybody because we don't want our dog to be put down. I need you to, I need to challenge you to think about safety and not just of yourself because dogs get loose every day. Yesterday, David was ran into three wild dogs in the city, a pit bull, a German shepherd and another dog. And the pit bull was like, and not a bad name for a pit bull. It's just any dog out there wild acting a fool. And those dogs are probably owned by somebody, but they all got out and they all started meandering together. And that pit bull was looking at that German shepherd. Dude, I'm going to attack you. Get that, out of my face. That you know, pit bull was like this in the middle of the street. Stupid. 
out of here. For real, he was like that. I'm like, and he, David said he I'm had to slow gonna, down because he was just bowed up in the middle of the street trying to attack this German shepherd. I'm like, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna try to get that dog because if I would have got out, he probably would have started chasing me. But that, I swear, man, that dog was like this, like mus muscle, man, like at a German shepherd. To a German. So, anyways, my point is, is that these folks been bit a lot. And they had to, he said himself, they've been owning Cocker Spaniels for over 20 years. You could see he's about doing cabinetry. He's an older gentleman. He's had some life. And so he has had these Cocker Spaniels. And this was the only one he can't groom himself. Okay. So he's been doing sedated. Him and his wife have been doing sedated grooming. I need you to listen. He said it all. It has nothing to do with me. But let me tell you the, the fulfillment of the grooming a pet like this, where the last three grooms have been sedated. And even then they said, you can't come back. There's not going to, we're not going to be able to help you anymore. Okay. And he said to his wife, what are we going to do? Because we can't groom him. He can't go to a regular groomer. And luckily there's someone like me that's able, out there advertising. They can find me. They YouTube. Thank you so much for bringing these people, someone that can help them. And some of the haters I have, you don't want to help people like that. So somebody has to, and even he said, someone has to get the job done. You can't be like, oh, okay, I'm half done. I can't do the rest. No, someone not hurting the dog, but the job needs to get complete at some point. And hopefully not sedated grooming its entire life. One, it's expensive. Two, your dog might not come out of it. And three, there's other alternatives if you look hard enough. And if you need or you want to be the in your state, one of the only aggressive dog groomers out there and you want the training, please call me. It's not cheap, but if you're already grooming, you might as well buckle that onto your plate and say, hey, look, I can now, I've been groomed, grooming with Didi. I know how to do aggressive dog grooming and I can handle that. So if you're interested in that, we really want to put that out there because there's not enough people that know what they're doing so that when you do do groom uh, aggressive dog, you don't injure the pet as well. Okay. But he said to me out there at the car, he said, Didi, thank you so much for doing what you do. Because if he didn't find me in a few days, like what they did, it was like family over a month ago. But how long did it take them to find me? There's people that have no idea how to, where to look that are not on YouTube, that are not on social media, that have dogs like that, that are at their wits and they don't know what to do. So spread the word, tell your friends and tell your family and just spread the word because there's a lot of people that need that. Thanks for watching. We're going to start a new live feed on this next new client. All today's grooms are new client parent assist. So this will be a really hard, but fun, interesting, crazy, dangerous day. If you want to watch me all day, please log on to the next live feed. Thanks for watching us. Be sure to like, like, subscribe, share this video when you get off of it. It's called Mean Cocker Spaniel Grooming. Just share it and Go to myfavoritegroomer.com to support us by shopping with us. If you're learning from me, if you're using my techniques, support me. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Well, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, my goodness. So many things going on.